Hey guys, Anthony 4 Before Diesel. Just a quick little video to share a few things, some fuel economy information, and some a bit about how the trip computers work in the latest, all the most recent latest Pradas, I suppose, over a few years, let's call it, to keep it simple. So it doesn't matter if you've got a Camry or a Prado, whatever the case may be, all very similar and similarly named. So first thing we'll run through, this is a 2019 1GD FTV. We'll just go through and have a look for you. You can see it's got 44668 on the clock, um, all mainly highway trips as much as possible. Now, this is some reality fuel economy, so what you can expect to get, it's a very light, um, minimally modified, minimalist type vehicle, so it's a GX, so it's nice and light, hasn't even got a tow bar. The storage system in the back would weigh less than what the rear seats would. Um, at about 50 kilos plus it so about 80 with the fridges so about the same as what the seats and all the extra trims and rear air con and all that sort of stuff would be so it's not heavy it hasn't got a bull bar uh, suspension lift doesn't really change fuel economy what does change it and the evidence as you have seen if you've been watching all the videos on both our channels the uh, standard supplied Grand Trex are awesome for fuel economy, awesome on the road, but if you use the vehicle as a full drive you've probably got some uh, all-terrain tyres and I've provided similar information up until now and a lot of people have agreed and said yep and in the comments replying pretty much the same and that is on this vehicle over those kilometres, all the testing we've done, I can tell you that uh, most commonly we would get about nine liters per hundred k's as an average. Let's have a look at some. So this is the after refuel. Okay, so we've also got after reset and after start. Now, let's just have a quick look at the after start. So most commonly nine, and that's the average for, you know, on a tank or whatever the case may be, or on a reset or anything like that, it's very close to nine until we put the all-terrain tires on. The all-terrain tires have made a massive difference. So if we go, down to the refuel you can see that's the last tank and I can tell you that tank right there I'll tell you just to give you an idea that's highway kilometers that's driving from Dubbo New South Wales to Melbourne at the speed limit you know give or take a few k's um, no massive overtaking maneuvers you know maybe a couple of overtaking things here and there where you know get a bit of gas to get going sort of thing but pretty steady driving that's what you can expect to get which is about the same as our old 120 Prado okay which is a lot heavier with a bull bar and all that sort of stuff um, so that's about what you can expect to get there's virtually no difference between a 1GD FTV and a 1KD in fuel economy uh, certainly the, the torque, the 1KD is a lot more torquey, holds speed better um, and better at the hot, I'm not saying it's a race machine, but it holds speed and, and has a bit more above the 100Ks. The 1GD, it's nice and quiet, it's good for the 60, 70, 80K zones and can get fuel economy a little bit better in those areas. So this one, let's go to the top. So this is the, the after start or one trip in some vehicles it's called in the Toyotas. It could be called one trip. Um, since I've started the engine, okay, so I've just started the vehicle, you can see average speed 25 k's, nine minutes ago I started the car, I reset the trip meter when I fill up, so you can work out the fuel economy for yourself, trip A is the economy, okay, I think trip B might have been since the last, uh, might have been since the last DPF burn, I'm pretty sure, sometimes I reset that, and the DPF's about to go again, see it's on 96 down there, okay, so it counts up to 100, now, that's just a little side note, not that I can't concentrate. Easily distracted, yes, I agree. So what we've got here after start, 11.4 litres. It's getting worse because we're sitting here. We're not covering any ground, okay? And you can see the trip meter now. So that's basically one trip or after start. Since you start the engine, stop the engine, that resets every time. So don't take too much notice of that because it can change quickly. If you do a 3K trip like I have, the fuel economy could be quite bad. Or if you do a, a short trip that's downhill, it could be 6 litres per 100K. So you can't go by that one. That's what you get that trip only. Okay, this one here is after reset. Now you can see there's 70 hours driving. I can tell you that 70 hours, if I get it right, I believe I reset that before a trip up through New South Wales into Queensland, 70 hours, that sounds about right. I'm gonna reset that again now anyway. Um, the point is 11.1, .1, so since I reset it, this is what you can expect to get. You'll see the consistencies between trips 
uh, resets and after refuel. Let's go quickly to after refuel. So since I refueled, which again was in Dubbo, okay? So that trip back to Melbourne and then from Melbourne out to Bendigo and back. So highway, the whole lot, that 1177, all highway running, 11.5 litres per 100 k's. Quick note, <clears throat> this vehicle gets up to about a litre per 100 better than what it says. So it's probably around the old estimate 10.8 litres per 100 k's. But what I'll do, I'll, I'll fill up and we'll work it out exactly what it is, right? So let's have a look now. We got, and for the people that want to know how to work it out, you just do 1177 divided by 11.5. That'll give you how many kilometers to a litre of fuel. If you want to do uh, do it the other way around, how many litres per 100 k's, you do how many litres you put in. Let's say it's 100 litres, do 100 divided by 11. 77 and that'll give you a figure. I think you've just got to move the decimal point one way back or forward We'll do that after we refill if you're interested Okay The key thing here is though Don't think you're gonna get seven eight or nine liters per hundred k's because you get a good run here or there and you can and all the all-terrain tires That sort of thing, but your tires one factor in this video your tires are the big thing that increase your fuel economy. I'm actually surprised, and it's an absolute fact. I was that surprised, I kept checking, looking again, changing tires, and absolutely, your fuel economy will go from about, it'll get about 1.5 to two liters per 100 Ks worse with all-terrain tires. So have a think about it before you change tires. How much off-roading do you really do? And is it worth the risk? Maybe carry an extra spare, I don't know. I'll just give you the information, something to think about. So you can see after start, slowly getting worse, 12 minutes. Okay, after reset, like I said, average speed 70 Ks an hour, um, 70 hours driving, 11.1 and then of course the after refuel says 11.5 so somewhere between 11.1 and 11.5 the actual be about 10.5 let's go fill it up and see what we actually get eh? okay so we filled up let's have it a have a look at a few things now first thing you want to do is know that it's 128 liters is what it took so the first thing is if we go back to oops wrong way if we go back to uh Oh, I'll work it out in a minute. Um, after refuel, see here, it's got 11.66. I didn't. You can check back. I reckon it had about 20 or 30 k's till empty, right? So the first thing you learn from this video is, if it's got 20 or 30 k's till empty, that means in another two kilometres it was going to say zero. In another two kilometres, it would have probably taken about 130 litres instead of 128. Okay, so when it goes to zero kilometers, it still had 20 liters in the tank. Okay, so that's the first thing. You got a bit up your sleeve there. I'm not gonna tell you you've always got 20 liters, but in this vehicle, I have found that to be the case. There's always heaps in reserve, and most Toyotas, even the Prados with the 1KDs, generally, that's the case. You need to understand it though, because if you change your driving style from something that's really economical and you go, oh, that's cool, I've got 20 litres, and then you hook up a trailer or you start driving in some uh, terrain where the fuel economy is a lot worse or you're air down or you're on beaches, it's not going to be uh, you've got 20 litres that are going to last uh, uh, 200 k's. It's going to be 20 litres that last 80 k's or something like that. So that's your variable. Um, so if you do 128, Divided by, uh, hang on, we'll go back to the other one actually. Where was it? We, no, it doesn't matter. Trip A at the bottom, right? That's our, I'll reset that when we refuel. So you do, get your calculators out. Press pause, get your calculator, come back, and then do 128 litres divided by, we're not worrying about the 128.2 or the 127.8. We're just rounding it. Just round it to the nearest litre, right? The closest. 128. And here we're not going to worry about the 0.5. So 128 divided by 1177. And you'll find that gives you a number something like 0.108. You just need to move the decimal point up two spaces. I couldn't remember correctly. So it, the 108 equals 10.8. So 10.8 litres per 100 kilometres is what I got on that last tank. Now, I ca on, on the... I shouldn't have changed it there. I should have gone back to the... Sorry, yeah after refuel so whatever the after refuel and don't worry about it now so it's going 37 because i haven't driven anywhere right i've just started the engine i've literally driven like out of the servo and i'm back to information trying to educate you guys right so if you do that sum 128 divided by 1177 you'll see 108 move the decimal point make it a 10.8 that's an actual fact on what you're getting now before the questions start 
The tires are exactly the same size, okay? They're just all-terrain tires, not bigger, exactly the same size. When I do a test, everything's the same. Nothing else has changed. To be fair, to have a fair test, that's how it needs to be. It's not a, oh, I put tires, a bull bar, a lift kit, a roof rack, uh, 300 kilos, filled up fuel, water, and everything. It's same, same. It's tests over thousands of Ks a number of different times to make a fair comparison. So, butterbing. So, what we do now, so if you want to measure your fuel economy, when you fill up, reset trip A. See what I did there? Trip A, zero Ks, right? Because there's what the trip computer says. And when you're telling someone online, oh, this is what I get, make sure you're not telling them the after start for your best trip because your best trip isn't what you get. After reset could be what you get. So I should be telling people, I get 11.1 .1 after 70 hours of driving. That was, like I said, mainly highway driving. I can't even remember now. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go, ah, sorry, I gotta hold the right button to reset it. There it is, it's reset, right? At how many Ks? For the next video so you know what's going on 44 we'll call it 45,000 right we reset it right okay bang now after reset after refuel so the refuel that resets itself automatically okay so all we need to worry about refuel is we reset trip a they go hand in hand those two together in my opinion trip b is for if you want to actually measure a trip so you're going on a long trip and yeah, I don't know, so you know when to do your next oil change or something, whatever the case may be, or you want to know how many Ks it is from point A to point B. After reset, right, um, after reset, it's <clears throat> whatever you want. You may go, I want to know what mileage I get driving from Ballarat to Melbourne. So what you do, you start the engine and you reset this one by pressing the button on the steering wheel in most vehicles, the enter button, you just hold it and it resets it, okay? That's, and then when you get there, you have a look, there's your stats for that. But then you, you start the engine, your one trip could do that for you as well. So let's say uh, you've got a trip over three days, you regularly drive uh, across the WA to Perth. There you go, you do that uh, once every six months and you wanna know what economy you get for that, but you're gonna refill three times. So you reset it for the trip. And then you may reset it for the trip back so you can go, Every time I drive east to west, I get 10 litres per 100 k's, and every time I go west to east, I get 11 litres per 100 k's, or 9 litres, well, you've got a tailwind most of the time, so it's probably a bit better, whatever, right? Anyway, guys, just trying to help you understand, A, how all these trip computers work. This is the after start one, it's automatic. You can see average 1k, seven minutes since I restarted the car. It's real information. Butter bing, butter boom, there you go. You can have a look at that, right? Not much has changed, because so you, you've learned a bit about what to expect on fuel economy from a really light 1G GD FTV. So I drive it nice. It's not really that good on fuel economy. The 120 Prado gets about the same. It's got bull bars. It's got more gear. It's much heavier. It's older. Uh, so butter bing. It's got exactly the same tyres, by the way. And that's what I get about 11 and a half. Um, maybe this is marginally better. There you go. So anyway, that's a video. We're out of here. Thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe, turn the bell on if you want more genuine, accurate information. They tell me it's the best channel. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See ya.